Welcome to UniArch Learning Hub. In this episode, we're going to talk about some settings of alarm. We will introduce motion detection, video loss alarm, input and output, and alert. Let's get started. Here we go with motion detection first. Motion detection detects a moving object inside the detection area we set. And when a motion detection alarm is triggered, an alarm icon will appear in the upper right corner. Select the desired camera and enable motion detection function. Full screen motion detection is enabled by default on NVR. You are also allowed to clear the whole grid and draw irregular areas based on your actual needs. Draw an area in the window. As we can see, when motion detection is triggered, an alarm icon appears in the corner. If you want to delete the areas, just click Clear All. Here enables you to adjust detection sensitivity by moving the slider. The higher the sensitivity, the more likely a target can be detected. If you want to get notified when an alarm is triggered, click the icon to configure trigger actions. We can set voice alarm to make an alarm sound, send email to the specified mailbox, or enable a pop-up window when an alarm occurs. Below are some triggered linkage actions, recording, go to preset, preview, and alarm output. When you have multiple cameras work together, you may enable these linkage actions as needed. For example, if you select D3 under recording, then camera D3 will record when motion detection of D2 has been triggered. By default, the motion detection is armed 24 hours. You can also specify the period, then the camera will detect motions during this period only. Select the day and configure the time below. Up to 8 periods are allowed to be set for each day. You can copy the period you just set to other days if needed. Now let's move on to video loss. Video loss function means that the system reports an alarm when video signals are lost from a camera. Video loss alarm is enabled on all the channels on NVR by default. You can click the green icon to disable this function. When the icon turns red, the function is disabled. Choose to set up trigger actions and arming schedule if needed. For cameras that support alarm input and output, you can manage the alarm status and alarm type on this page. Click Edit to enable alarm input and set alarm type to NO or NC. The status of alarm output and duration can also be configured. Both alarm input and output support setting up trigger actions and arming schedule. Alert is a very useful tool to notify us if events happen, like IP conflict, network disconnected, disk offline and abnormal, as well as illegal access. If send email or voice alarm is enabled, the NVR will report an alarm or send you email notifications when any of these events occurs. Or a window with alert info will pop up when pop-up window is ticked. That's all for today's learning. Hope this will be helpful to you. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.